Hello and welcome to this edition of the Week in the Maghreb, a look at news and current affairs across North Africa. Coming up, a profile of a controversial figure in Morocco. That's Nadia Yassin, the leader of a branch of an Islamist group. She's in hot water over her taboo remarks on Morocco's monarchy. We'll also see how North Africa is acting to tackle the AH1N1 virus. Vaccinations against the flu are being rolled out, even in very remote areas. And we'll see how farmers in Tunisia could be set to squeeze a few more drops of profit out of their ancient olive oil industry, vying to compete with leading European producers. But we start with a look at a woman who's making waves in Morocco. Nadia Yassin heads the female branch of the Islamist movement Justice and Charity. Yassin's supporters say she's a fearless campaigner, fighting for a return to the fundamentals of Islam. But she's angered others and landed herself in legal trouble recently by breaking a taboo. Yassin said she'd prefer Morocco to be a republic rather than a monarchy. Her trial over those remarks has been delayed several times, but it's currently scheduled to begin very soon. Don't be fooled by the image of Tranquil Housewife. Few people rouse as much feeling in Morocco as Nadia Yassin. The spokeswoman for the Islamic justice and charity movement does not shy away from sensational statements. And too bad if people are upset. I am not disciplined. I have more the character of an artist. I fell into politics by accident. I don't do it because it's my calling. Her admiration for her father, Sheikh Yassin, is what inspired her to get involved. When she was 15, the head of the Islamic movement was forced into a mental hospital because he denied the religious legitimacy of the king. This was a massive shock for her. I was shocked when the secret services suddenly appeared at our house and arrested him without trial. They made him disappear, and I felt a frustration that created in me a will to take action. Ever since, Nadia Yassin has used the media to impose the principles of an Islam that she promises is tolerant. To make her voice heard, this activist is challenging taboos. Result? She risks five years imprisonment for having dared to use the word republic. And this is an injustice, says her lawyer. Nadia Yassin has simply expressed her preference for a republic rather than a monarchy. And in the end, this falls within freedom of expression. However, this free way of speaking has not pleased everyone. Even Islamists in the Justice and Development Party have started to get angry. Here, the monarchy is defended. Nadia Yassin is well known for this sort of unfounded, unsupported statement. More or less, she is an agitator, and that's the problem. Provocation, yes, but not without costs. This graduate in political science understands that the media is a powerful weapon for communication. But it is a double-edged sword. I've received threatening letters, letters that say they'd throw acid in my face because I've disturbed people at many different levels. It's upsetting because I am a woman, and most men keep their mouths shut and are cowards, cowardly about the reality of power in Morocco. And also, I wear the headscarf, so I disturb people. I know it. But at base, disturb is exactly what Nadia Yassin wants to do. She wants to prove that one can wear the scarf and still be a free, audacious woman. Her goal? To rid Islam of its tarnished image. <laughs> 